Hi everyone, my name is Debbie and today I'm going to be demonstrating how I'm going to be colouring the reflection from this candlelight. Now this design is by Mario Le Budec and you can find this uh, illustration in Colouring Heaven issue number 94, Christmas Gnomes, which is on sale now. Now I have found a couple of different references uh, and I'm using the app Unsplash and this is the reference that I have found so I've got a good idea of where I want to pop the light source on this little guy now what I've done is I've based the whole picture with alcohol markers I'll just turn the page over just to make it a little bit easier for myself and I've put uh, black acrylic paint all over the whole of the background to really make this candle light pop uh, these are the colours that I've pulled out, might not use them all, might use more. Now they are Prismacolor and I will go through them one by one as I use them. I've purposely left the candle burr because I wanted to colour that in just pencil, not any alcohol markers. So I want to start off with my lightest colours first. Let's get this candle coloured in first and then we can work on the effect of uh, the candle light on this little guy. Right, so the first colour I want to use is Prismacolor Cream PC914 and then above it I've got Eggshell PC140. So we'll start off with them. So the trick with Prismacolor, there's two tricks actually. You can uh, work in light layers or if you do what I do, you smoosh the colours together, smoosh the colours together and they blend really, really incredibly easy do prisma colours so just a really light layer of this just going up and down just getting that colour down on the candle and then in with the eggshell on another layer of this and I've got one more darker colour for the candle and let's not forget as well the candle wax so what's cool about this picture is Mario the Boudic has already added the shadows so there's no guessing, there's no guessing. The only guessing part is where you're going to add your light source but that is entirely up to the colourist. And the darkest shade that I'm going to use for the candle is Pumpkin Orange PC1032. Just want it a tad bit darker at the top. But I want to keep it light at the bottom because if they're anything like the candles that I like, they're really light coloured. And back in with the cream PC914. And you're using this lightest colour to blend all this together, smoosh it together. So, same thing at the top part of the wax as well. So we're sticking with the cream, a nice base layer of this, all over and turn in your pencil as you go to keep it as sharp as possible. And then with your medium shade, which is the Eggshell PC140, you can start adding them shadows in. But again, you can use the reference there to help you. And then in with the darkest shade which was the pumpkin orange 1032. Just using very short motions as if you was colouring her maybe. Really short lines and this will get blended out with that lightest colour. A little bit behind here then back in with the cream which was PC914 just to blend all that out. You could always use a white pencil if you choose to. So for the actual candle itself I want to make the centre the darkest and then make it lighter as it comes out. So this isn't the darkest colour that I've pulled out, but this is the one that I want to start with and it's Pale Vermilion PC921. 
and all in the center where all that grayscale is already there so that's showing you where the darkest point is you could even do this blue if you wanted to make it a blue candle but I will go traditional today so a very soft smooth layer of that really light pressure then and for over the top got Scarlet Lake PC 923 and we want to deepen this up so you put in most of the pressure I'm going to bring you up down ever so slightly I'm putting most of the pressure at the very centre and then pulling that colour up and out same on this side up and out and then once we use our lightest shade that will blend out beautifully and then we can go, on, go ahead and add another layer just to get it really beautiful and pigmented so you're pulling that colour out and then back in with the pale vermilion which was PC921 and we want to go over what we just did see how it blends just so smoothly so most of the pressure is on the center and then I'm pulling pulling and I'm as I'm getting to the top here and here it's it's a lot of um, lighter pressure and then back in with that darkest shade which was the Scarlet Lake PC 923 so we want to get all the candle done first and then we can start thinking about where the light source would actually hit on this little gnome let's darken that center up so most of the pressure in the center and then pulling the color out and up just like that so on the very outside I've chosen sunburst yellow PC 917 and I want to add that to three quarters three quarters of the white paper remaining I want to add this and then I want a lighter colour for the top so hard pressure towards the bottom and then just pulling it up you will occasionally get bits of the core of the pencil just pop it away with your little fan brush make sure we're not missing any areas now I want to go in with deco yellow which is PC 1011 and fill in the rest of this and we should be able to get a beautiful blend between these two colours I'm not forgetting these little guys now I do want to add a tiny little bit just to make the bottoms of them a little bit darker just that sunburst yellow again just to give it a little bit more depth though. and then back in with your pale vermilion PC921 at the very bottom pull this colour up just want to make it look like it's a seamless blend and then we'll add a little bit of this colour as well to the very bottom the very bottom of the, these little pieces here so let's start on the the actual candle effect now I'm excited so the first thing we want to do is go ahead with our lightest shade of the cream that we use for the actual candle and we'll just use this to start mapping out where the light is going to actually hit so we'll definitely pop a little bit here I'm using the lightest colour just to definitely make sure I'm placing it where I want to place it I don't want to go in with a really really dark colour like a really dark yellow or dark orange and then be upset that I've placed it in the wrong area so if I just use a light colour to begin with and then we'll just start layering up as we go so it's going to be on all his beard here, his little moustache 
I'm going to be around his mouth. I'm using medium pressure as well to apply this. It might not show much of up on camera, but it is there, I promise. So around his little walking stick as well. And it'll probably stop around there, so we'll pop that there. And pull this colour down a little bit. And then on his little moustache. all these areas because it would reach probably around here the actual light source so again i'm just using this color just to map out where i want it to be the tip of his nose or the bottom of his nose and then there's going to be some at the back here on his mitten along with this side as well and then this side of the mitten as well to match and let me just double check I don't think that will have a light source because that's behind it and we'll pop a little bit at the top of the hat as well let's pull that colour around and down so I've got a good idea where I want the actual colour now so I'll bring the camera up ever so slightly and I'm going to switch to the Deco Yellow PC 1011 and then go over the areas basically where I've just added that cream colour because I'm happy with that placement now so medium pressure I don't want to fully block colour this area because I don't I think this would be in the shadow. And then you've got his little lip. Pull that round. It does start to come together. Especially when I start adding oranges. Now as I'm getting to the outer edge, I'm using a lot of um, circle motions and a lighter pressure just to give the illusion that it's not just colour here and it's just blended out. Same with his nose. And then we've got this bit of the beard. So it's going to be lightest at this corner and then you want your pressure to lighten up as you get further away. And then not, let's not forget his little mittens. And lighter pressure, so you're blending. I want to add a little bit more to his beard, I think. Just a little bit more. Really light pressure. Circle motions. Just like that and then I don't think I'm going to pull it, pull any more colours out than what I've got the sunburst yellow PC 917 and you're doing the exact same thing but you don't want to pull that colour out as much so you're just defining this even more so hard pressure to begin with and then lighten it up start blending it out And it blends into nothing. Just like that. Same thing, hard pressure where it's going to be at its lightest and then you're blending it out. The same thing here. I might actually add a little bit to his boot so I'll get this finished and come back and do a little bit on his boot. Don't forget this little mitten. And I think I'm going to add it to the actual candle itself. I think that would be nice. So if I go ahead and add the Deco Yellow P3 
PC1011 and just add a little bit of that because you know that's going to be lit up as well and colour the wick in and then with the sunburst yellow PC917 that's lovely and lit up nice and I think I will do a little bit of his boot and maybe a little bit of the stick there maybe just a little bit just a little bit so in with the deco yellow PC1011 add a little bit and then with the sunburst yellow PC917 See, and there you go, I'm happy with that, I'm glad I decided to do that. And then back in with the deco yellow just on his little boot. Now, I might struggle a little bit here because I actually coloured all of this with just pencil. There's no alcohol marker on these boots. I might struggle. Getting the pigment colours to show up. So I'll add the sunburst yellow PC917. That's showing up a little bit better. That should be enough. And then the whole area, I'm going to add a little bit of this uh, pale vermilion PC921. Just a little bit. And I think I'm quite happy with him. Just a very light layer. Just to darken it up ever so slightly. Don't forget his little lip. And his nose. Just adding a hint of this colour because we've added this colour to the candle, I thought that'd be a nice idea. Just add a little bit of a hint. And let's clean it up a little bit. So there we are, there's a little fellow all nicely lit up. So I hope that you did enjoy this demonstration on how I add the uh, candle effect. I think it is really, really easy. You just take it in a couple of steps. You know take your time add layers and do your blending and yeah if you want to color this illustration it is available in issue 94 of coloring heavens christmas gnomes and is available on coloring heavens website link in the description down below please like and subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos by coloring heaven thank you so much for watching take care bye